Number 38. Calculate the molality of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter C. So we have 46.85 grams of codeine, which is C18H21NO3, in 125.5 grams of ethanol. Oh my goodness, C2H5OH. Why is this even a combination? No one knows. Um, yikes. Anyway, do not ingest codeine with ethanol. Never make a codeine and ethanol solution. Um, that's the public service announcement. Anyway, we just have to find the molality of this. <laughs> so we have 46.85 grams of codeine in a, you know, an amount of ethanol. What is the molality? Well, there is only one formula for molality, and that is this formula right here. So molality equals the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. They didn't specifically say which one was the solute and which one was the solvent. However, the wording will help us get there. Whenever you have a solute, which is generally the smaller solid amount, you are always placing the solute into the solvent. And generally the solvent is going to be your liquid amount. Um, so in this case, we're taking the codeine and dropping it in the ethanol, right? And ethanol is over 21 in the United States, drinking alcohol, right? That's just what ethanol is. So if you're putting in codeine into ethanol, that means that the codeine has to be the solute and the ethanol is the solvent. So are we in the proper units? Nah, we need moles of solute. They gave us grams. So the first thing we have to do is we have to convert the 46.85 grams of the codeine, C18, H21, O, no, NO3, and we want to go to moles of the codeine, C18H21, NO3. Well, grams to moles, how do we do that? Back to basics. Grams of any substance, I want to go to moles of the same substance. All you got to do is divide by that molar mass. So let's find out the molar mass of codeine, shall we? We have 18 carbons. So 18 times 12.01 plus 21 hydrogens. On my periodic table, it's 1.008 plus a nitrogen, which is 14.01. And then we have three oxygens, which is 16. So 18 times 12.01 plus 21 times 1.008 plus a 14.01 plus three times 16, send. Okay, that's the molar mass, 299.358. So we're gonna take the 46.85 grams and divide it by the 299.358. 46.85 divided by this number, ends we get. Uh, we'll give it a couple of decimals. 0 0.1565, that looks good to me, moles of the codeine. So we have the numerator. Now, let's see, are we in the correct unit for the denominator? Nope, they gave me grams. So I have to go from 125, right? Yeah, 125.5 grams of the ethanol, C2H5OH2, kilograms of the ethanol. How do we go from grams to kilograms? Well, that's your SI units also back, back in the day. Grams to kilograms, all you gotta do is just divide by a thousand, or you could take the decimal, move it over to the left three times. So this would be 0 0.1255. And now we are ready for the formula. Molality which, by the way, is an italicized M. Capital M is molarity with the R in it, but this is molality. So we got the 0 0.1565 on the top. We got the 0 0.1255 on the bottom. 
I'm just going to take this, this full number here for the numerator and divide it by 0 0.1255. Right, 1255, yeah, that looks good. And there we go. You get a molality of uh, four sig figs, 1.247, little scripted M, and that is the answer to this problem. Let's box it in, color it nice, and that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Thanks for being part of the community. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button. It just gets the word out there that this YouTube title exists. And I think free education for all, that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, we also have physics and math videos on the channel, and we also have little goodie links in the description that you could always check out, and you could send them to your friends and your classmates so that you know, you can learn chemistry and physics and math and hopefully more subjects in the future we will have for you guys. So always check back on the channel. We love helping you guys out. We want you to succeed. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.